Hello my friends and welcome to day four, I cannot believe it's day four already, to the Upside Down Readathon. So I would definitely be lying to you all if I said I wasn't tired. You probably can't tell because makeup works wonders, but my eyes let me tell you, the brain fog today is crazy. I have loved doing this, but man, it is intense. So with that being said, this is probably gonna be a little bit shorter of a vlog today, mainly because it's already 1 p.m. I'm on my lunch break and I just wanted to catch you guys up. I basically just got up today, came to work, ate some breakfast, got some work done, and now we're here. So my only plans for tonight is my friend Kaylin and I, which I'm sure you guys know Kaylin, you've seen her on my channel from Kaylin Abridged. We have not caught up face to face in so long. We were like, um, yes, we need that time to catch up. I miss her so incredibly much. It's been way too long. So I'm like, you know what? I think it might be a good mental break to just do something different <laughs> instead of reading for once. So I am going to be doing that tonight, but I figured we could also watch an episode of Stranger Things because I can't believe it's day four and I haven't even watched any of it yet. So I've been doing a little bit of a rewatch even before this readathon started and it's been so much fun. I feel like my brain just needs a little bit of a break today so I think we're gonna do that and then I also brought my graphic novel source line with me today because I definitely don't think I'm gonna be finishing any big books. <laughs> I'm not sure how long Kaylin and I will talk but I just need that mental break so I'm gonna be reading some of this probably right now and later tonight of course and let you guys know how I feel. I am so excited for this one. It's gonna be so cute. I I am like foreseeing a 24-hour readathon in my near future because not a lot has been read this week. I feel like there's just a lot going on so I will be shocked if I even get like two books read to be honest but we're doing good so far. I'm confident that I will be able to read more than one book at least. I think that is it for now. I just wanted to pop in and say hey kind of update you that this may be a little bit shorter of a vlog. I feel like when you are a content creator and daily vlogging there's always some of those days that are a little bit more more mundane especially if you work and stuff but the previous vlog I put out just like my getting ready with me and my everyday kind of like morning routine I didn't show every little part of it but it's so interesting how you can find beauty in the things that you do every single day like your routine and if I've learned anything this week it is that so just remember that even though I feel like life sometimes is just this constant cycle of the same thing there's definitely beauty in those little things in your daily life so I have been enjoying vlogging, don't get me wrong. I think I've just hit that wall today where I'm like overtired. I definitely have a little bit of an energy drink. I don't typically love watermelon, but these are amazing, you guys. These Celsius Live Fit, they are so good. They're basically like the healthy energy drink that has a bunch of vitamins and minerals in them, and they just taste really good. So there's probably way too much sugar in them, but they don't give me the shakes like a lot of other energy drinks do. And while I love coffee, it doesn't always agree with my stomach. So we are on to that today. But anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of reading right now and kind of dive into this and see what it's like because I cannot wait. I love the artwork and yeah, I think that's it. And I will catch up with you guys later, probably when I'm back at home. All right, friends, I am back at home back home from work and as I was sitting there eating my ham and Swiss sandwich for the night I was like what can I do to keep this vlog on par with the Stranger Things theme and there is nothing better than taking a character quiz so that's what we're gonna do I feel like I relate the most to Nancy but I could be wrong, like watch me get Jonathan or something. But I thought it would be really fun to take a Stranger Things quiz with you guys because I've never done one before, as far as I remember, and BuzzFeed has a pretty decent one. I thought we could do that together and then I will leave the link to the quiz down below and then you guys can tell me which character you end up getting. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little bit more of like an interactive thing. Here we go. Honestly, I'm super nervous and if I get 11, that would honestly be super cool. So 
let's just see what happens. Let's find out the Stranger Things character with whom you're the most spiritually and emotionally aligned. Ooh, choose a snack. A snack? Pizza's a snack? Donuts, Jif peanut butter, Eggo waffles, I mean Reese's Pieces. I can never say that word. Is it Reese's Pieces or Reese's pe Pieces? Does anybody know? Or ice cream. I would definitely have to say the Reese's Pieces, however you pronounce it, because I'm a huge fan of candy and I am addicted to those. Choose a Steve. Pre-redemption arc Steve, babysitter Steve, upside down Steve, or scoops ahoy Steve. I may have to go with scoops ahoy. I don't know why, but I'm not a babysitter. And pre-redemption arc Steve was kind of mm, questionable and upside down Steve. I mean, he just, I don't know. The character development with Steve literally amazing. I'm just gonna choose Scoops Ahoy because I don't know. Choose a quote. Well, I'm here to tell you that there are other little lost sheepies out there who need help, who need you, and all you guys gotta do is get your bow peeps on and go and find one. You can't spell America without Erica. <laughs> Remember the hurt. The hurt is good. It means you're out of the cave. I promised I'd keep you shitheads safe. And that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. Sometimes I think it's just scary to open us up like that to to say how you really feel, especially to people you care about the most, because what if they don't like the truth? That's a good one. Boys lie all the time. <laughs> this is interminable bickering. It was amusing at first, but it's getting very stale, and we've got, and we still got a long ride ahead of us. So why don't you two cut the horseshit and get to the part where you admit your sexual feelings for one another? Uh, no. Even though all of us losers pretend to be above it all, we still just want to be popular, accepted, normal honestly true. Friends don't lie. Get me stressed out. It's not even my girlfriend. Let's go with the losers. Ah, it's a demogorgon. How do you react? Grab a bat and protect your friends. Contact the media. Single-handedly destroy it. I mean, I wish. Be sarcastic until it slinks away in shame. Honestly, that's my whole personality. I'm not gonna lie. Cue up your favorite song. Wait, Demogorgons exist? I feel like that's an answer for someone that doesn't read fantasy. You know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't notice it. Okay. Fight back, lack of powers, be damned. Panic, sheer, unadulterated panic. Honestly, I'm getting dragged to the upside down in this scenario. <laughs> Honestly, probably true. I'm gonna go with the sarcastic one because that's pretty much me. How would your friends describe you? Paranoid, protective, carefree, sarcastic? Yes. Maternal, powerful, fierce, sensitive, cultured, passionate? Oh, I don't know. Maybe passionate because I'm always passionate about what I do? Which game would you choose to play in the Rainbow Room? Chess, Solving a Maze, Nintendo, Arts and Crafts. Yes, Arts and Crafts. What would be your super power? Telekinesis, predicting the future, breathing underwater, running? Intellect, ability c to control other people's emotions, but why? Super hearing, reading minds, I don't need superpowers, I'm already me. <sighs> yeah, exactly. I don't know, I always thought breathing underwater would be super cool. Choose a season, one, two, three, four. We are gonna go with... I really liked four. Choose a high school click to join. The newspaper staff, the jocks, I get along with everyone. The band nerds, the drama kids, the gamers, the science geeks, the rebels, the skaters. I'm a lone wolf. Definitely, I can get along with everyone. You just learned about the upside down. Do you stay in Hawkins or try to get the hell out? I was planning on leaving anyway. Honestly, that was my attitude with uh, the town I grew up in because it was so small and there's nothing there. So maybe that. I'm not leaving without my friends. Are you kidding me? This place would fall apart without me. Hell yeah, I'm leaving. I'm never going to Hawkins in the first place. I mean, true. I want to leave, but too many people are depending on me here. <laughs> I'm staying. Uh, I feel like I'll stay how much worse can things get because that's kind of my personality of like, I like to stay in my comfort zone. So we're gonna go with that. Choose the show's scariest villain. I mean, Angela and Billy. Oh my god. 
Oh, I am definitely gonna go with Vecna. That is like one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. If you could hang out with one character in real life, who would you choose? Oh my. Steve, Lucas, Eddie, uh... I may have to say, say Eddie so he can teach me Dungeons and Dragons because I've always wanted to learn how to play that. Choose a song to protect yourself from Vecna. Running up that hill as it was brutal. I want to dance with somebody, heroes. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna go with Harry Styles. And finally, what's your favorite iconic moment from the series so far? Max escaping Vecna through the power of Kate Bush. The reveal of Vecna's true identity. Robin coming out to Steve. Will communicating. Murray winning his fight. Oh man. Honestly, I'm gonna say Vecna's true identity. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, Will Byers, you're observant and empathetic, especially when it comes to those closest to you, and you channel those qualities through your artistic talents. I mean, makes sense. Sometimes it feels as if things go wrong for you slightly more often than they do for the average person. I mean, as of late, yeah. <laughs> but even if that's true, you haven't lost your good heart in the process. In fact, it's only gotten stronger, just like you. Okay, honestly, I'll take it because Will has some pretty great character development in the series. So that was super fun, actually. I'm definitely gonna leave this link in the description below and you guys will definitely have to let me know who you get. Okay, you guys, time for some reading. I did not get the chance to read my graphic novel on my lunch break today. So we will just have to read that tonight and that will be my book for the day. But I was thinking and talking with Lauren a little bit. <laughs> this is on a lot of people's TBR including mine, including Lauren's, I think Keisha's reading it. A lot of people seem to be reading this, but I don't have access to the audio for it, which is making me a little bit skeptical and scared because it's getting near the end of the week and I haven't started it. So what I think I'm gonna do, this is for points of view technically, but this one already has points of view, even though it counts for my psychological thriller. I think I'm gonna count this for my points of view and figure out a different psychological thriller. Cause I wanna pick something that has like an audiobook because that's gonna be like my main read over the weekend. And I do want to finish this. I'm still like 25, 30% of the way, haven't made much progress. So I'm a little bit concerned that I'm gonna be able to like even finish this one. And I really wanna take my time with it. I feel like I've been rushed with this one and I may or may not be like enjoying it to the fullest. So I think I'm gonna have to do that. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and browse my shelves or shop my shelves or my book stacks more like it in my closet and try to figure out a different like spooky psychological thriller. I actually thought about reading this one, but I don't know if it's an actual like psychological thriller. So I may have to either, you know, um, cheat the system or ask someone because I'm not really sure. Let's just go ahead and like look at my books together and yeah, let's just try to figure out a different book for this weekend, kind of see what I'm feeling. I also just saw Jan Agaton read this one star, which is making me super concerned. I'm not gonna like it now because we have pretty similar reading taste, at least when it comes to the fantasy world. So let's just go ahead and browse my shelves a little bit and just see what else I might have. Okay guys, let's just see what's going on here. This is like my fall cart. I just kind of like shoved all my books for fall on my TBR cart, which I don't know, it's a little bit overwhelming to look at all the books I want to read this fall, but I initially first saw this one. So this is a huge contender. I don't know if it's psychological, but like it's a thriller. I don't know. I may have to ask someone who's read it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I also have a little Eve back here, but I don't feel like reading another Katrina Ward. Uh, that is a fantasy book, so that's not going to work. Um, let's see. I wonder, killers of a certain age, there's no way. I don't know. I don't think so. This isn't actually out yet, I don't think, but <laughs> we might have to try and see. Um, most of these are middle grade. I just checked the ones back there and none of those are like psychological thrillers. I've got the ones down here. Ooh, what about this one? Oh, that's really big. <laughs> oh no. That's a good option. Also Mexican Gothic, I totally regret because I just 
delayed my hold from the library on the audiobook, so ooh, oh no. Um, I'm trying to think. This one got sent to me by a publisher. I'm actually very curious. I've held on to it, but I don't know if I can get the audio. I'm pretty sure most of these down here are fantasy, although there is this one. I've heard that's just like a show though that I've already seen. This one might work. We might do that one. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Let's go up here. I don't think I have anything in my book of the month. Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything there. Sarah J. Mass shelf. Um, yeah, that's more fantasy. Well, is Flicker in the Dark? I've seen some people actually reading Flicker in the Dark. So maybe we could try that one. Also, Elisa Jewel. She can be kind of fun. So that also might work. I don't see anything up there. I think that's pretty much all fantasy. Going back down here though, I have actually seen this multiple times at the bookstore and I bought it. I don't know if it's psychological though, so we'll have to set those aside. Okay, um, I'm also seeing the Book of Cold Cases, or I wonder if I could find the Sundown Motel. That might be kind of fun. Let's see, what else do we have over here? Um, not seeing... Ooh, what about The Long Walk? That might be kind of good. I really want something that has my best friend's exorcism vibes. Maybe I should just read Suburban Hell. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure it's not a psychological thriller. So, uh, I'm struggling over here. What about Notes on an Execution? Is that psychological? I don't know, I'll have to ask Lauren. Okay, we have the Sundown Motel here, but I really don't think it's psychological. Here we go again. I wonder if the family plot or the escape room? Maybe? Um... I'm not really seeing anything there either. This is mostly like middle grade and stuff over here. Um, and fantasy. Yeah, I'm not really seeing or what about what lies between us that one would be kind of cool okay you guys i have quite the stack here to choose from now i need to get confirmation from some people if <laughs> these are actually psychological thrillers because i don't actually know i'm pretty sure this one is and the stephen king one is I'm pretty positive on those. I think this one also is because I've been seeing a lot of people read it for prompts, but the fact that Karen Slaughter <laughs> blurbed it and I didn't like the one Karen Slaughter I read kind of makes me nervous, but I've seen nothing but good reviews, so that might be a pleasant surprise. And then Runtime by Katherine Howard is not too bad, but it's fairly new, and I'm not sure if I have the audio. I might have it on Scribd. These four, I feel like I may have some options here. If I did get to choose, I would read another Grady Hendrix, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to get confirmation. So if you guys see this vlog, or when you see this vlog tomorrow, I'm gonna pick one of these up, probably one of these four, I guess, just vote on one of these four in the comments stay tuned and maybe i will keep you guys on edge that's kind of going to determine the vibe of my weekend because this is going to be my weekend read okay friends that is it for now i'm going to jump in my cozy clothes and we're going to jump right into this graphic novel because i've been waiting all week to get into this graphic novel let's go make some hot tea get in some comfy clothes and just see what this graphic novel is all about. I really hope that I end up liking it because it was pretty much an anticipated read for me and I've been putting it off for a moment like this just to be excited about it. So I will update you guys when I'm done with it probably. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Gonna make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking Starts to fade, feels like 
things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Friends, I know this lighting is awful, but I am too tired to change the angle now. So it is now 10.20. Um, I read the first part of this and I love it so far. Clearly not much reading got done today, but what I did get to read was superb. I am so glad this is going to be a series. This little girl is so cute with how obsessed she is with these like magical creatures and some of them are super cool. I just want to show like more of the artwork because I feel like I was not expecting this to start on like a spooky house which is honestly perfect for spooky season. So I am very much looking forward to probably finishing this tomorrow. My goal was to finish it tonight, but you know, but that's okay. All daily vlogs during readathons aren't gonna be great reading ones. So I am very sleepy. As you can tell, I've probably hit the wall and hopefully tomorrow on sprints, I will be able to finish this. Tomorrow I'm going book shopping with my little friend who I like to call Kendall. So I'm very excited to treat myself because this has been a very challenging week and I have enjoyed it, but I am very much ready to go book shopping and just treat myself and reward myself for my hard work. So that's what you have to look forward to whenever you see the next video after this one. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to take the quiz down in my description below because now I need to know what everyone's character is. But I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing day, night, whenever you watch this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!